Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to detect faces using Rust and OpenCV. Uh, this is the brief demo. So as you can see, this detecting my face without any issues. Uh, you can see some false positive here and there, but uh, there is part and parcel of the hot cascade classifier. So it is really fast, but it uh, eventually throws up some false positive images. So let's get started. Okay, let's create a new Rust package using cargo new this may be a binary project and let's call it OpenCV face detector. So it will create a new directory, OpenCV face detector. I'm moving into that folder and starting to go there. Now it's opening. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is add uh, OpenCV. So the latest OpenCV version is 0 0.62, 0 0.62.0. Okay, now we are going to edit this. Before doing anything, we are just going to compile it once uh, using cargo run so that it will uh, configure the project with OpenCV. Okay, it is finished uh, configuring the project. Okay, let's start uh, coding. We are going to use OpenCV. Uh, some of the modules we frequently use are the result, uh, the preload, and uh, the object detect, the high GUI module for displaying the image. The image processing to convert images from color to grayscale, and core and types. And types. So that's all. These are the modules we frequently use. If we happen to use some other modules, we will come back and add it later. So we are going to create a function name. So it's going to return a result of Okay, so now let's create a camera. Let so the camera have to be a mutable object. Let camera it needs uh so it is not IGY, it is video IO. Have we added? Okay, we have to add it to video IO. Then we need uh, the video IO flag. It is any capturing device we are going to use. And we are going to create a face detection object. So let mute. So before that, we are going to get an XML file. So XML file is going to be. So this it is obtained. Uh, if you have installed OpenCV in your system, this file will be available. So if you have installed it and you want to find in Linux, you can issue this command. It will find the location of the hot cascade frontal face XML file. Okay. So I'm just copying it and pasting it here. So I'll leave the command and everything as a bit of gist so that you can use it later. So then we are going to create a face detector. Face detector is the object detect cascade classifier new XML it is so I am using uh, GitHub copilot so most of the things will be uh, auto filled for me so yeah. I'll just increase the font size so you can see it better okay okay so now we need, we have the camera, we have the XML file face detector. So the only thing that is left out is the placeholder for our image. The camera is going to return images to uh, a frame or an image, which is going to be matte default. So this is a placeholder. Okay. So let's, uh, let's, let's into a loop. And inside this loop, we are going to get uh, the camera input. So camera dot read so it will yeah, it will write the image <clears throat> and okay let's uh let's convert the image into gray grayscale so we are just creating a placeholder uh, object named gray and using image processing cbt color to convert the image from um, vgr to gray that is the default color space is vgr and we are converting it into a grayscale image so if you have any doubt regarding the uh, function parameters, you can just hover over that uh, function and uh, press F12 and read the documentation over here. So it it uh, defines the function and it explains the function in detail. So it is to convert an image from one color space to another. So currently we are converting a VGR image into a grayscale image. Next, okay, let's display the grayscale image so we can Proceed further, IGY, I am show gray. It's also going to be gray. Okay. 
So anywhere we, we use the high GUI, we have to provide a weight key. Okay, as you can see, the image is converted to uh, base game. So let's close this and let's call the uh, image base detection function. So yeah, let's just call it using the red faces. We need this base loader for storing the faces. So the faces equal to type vector of rectangle. I think this vector of rectangle. Okay, so this is the base loader for storing the faces. Now face detector. Face detector. So we are giving way image is simple. And faces is where the face rectangle is stored. This is the scale factor. This uh, two here is the number of uh, you can see what is what using this uh, just going on the function that we are calling. So as you can see. We are giving the input image that is gray objects where we are going to store the face rectangles and the scale factor, which is uh, the detect multi scale function, will scale the image by the factor that we gave there and uh, and then find the faces or find whatever the hard features in that image. So it will do the scaling automatically and minimum neighbors. That is, if uh, the faces will be found only uh, if minimum two faces can be identified or uh, it is not minimum two faces, it is. Uh, it will be identified as a face only when there are uh, two or more uh, bounding rectangles are found. And this flag, you can give uh, the flag pj detect cascade scale image. So this is, as you can see, this is the flag that we use for this function. Okay. This is the flag we use, we use for uh, size of the development code. Right? So now we have the faces here. Uh, it's something that we declared it as uh, non lookable but we are calling it in the prescript, so I just fixed it. And yeah, that's all. Let's uh, just print out the face rectangles first and then we will now uh, see. Okay, as you can see, it is just printing out the location at which the face rectangle is found. So there are some false positive values. So some uh, arrays have two rectangles, but obviously there is only one face, which is fine. So yeah, there will be some false positives. I will uh, I'll show you how to get, uh, get an accurate uh, result. Yeah. So there this is face detection and Let's display the face uh, detected faces in in that rectangle array. So for face in faces dot extension. So we are going to display the face. So we have to display the face only when there is uh, a, an image, a face is detected. So we are just going to add an statement if faces dot length is greater than zero then only we have to display the image so okay let's display the image so only when there is a face detected uh, we will display it so if the faces dot length is greater than zero then we will uh, draw a rectangle just using ng of image processing rectangle so let's see what are the inputs for this so we need an image, we need a uh, rectangle, we need a color, we need thickness, we need line type, and we have to specify the shift. So let's do that one by one. So, so what is it going to return? So it is going to return an result. So we will have to uh, unpack it or unwrap it. So we are going to use image. So that is the word image, use face. So face that uh, so we have to iterate to all the faces available. So for face in faces not return, we have to move this up. Yeah. Okay, face, and then we need to specify a color. So 
go scale out new. So we have to specify it as a 0 to f64 since the function new creates the scale out with the specified data type. So f64, f so this is bg or a blue, green, red, and alpha. At the end, we have the alpha to blend with the background. Then we need uh, thickness, so let's make it two. Then we need the line type that is let's call it uh, line type. Okay. And what's the final parameter? This shift. So we don't need any shift, we want to have the uh, rectangle at the intermediate place, we don't need any shift. In, in the drawing, so we can just okay. okay let's uh, just display it. Let's see if we have it in the result we want to. Okay, as you can see, there is a green rectangle around the face. So, so as you can see, without the eyeglasses, it, uh, it is finding it quite accurately. So, I'm just going to close this one. So, so far, that's all. So, if you want to detect eyes instead of your uh, face. You can just uh, specify the hot cascade for the eyes. So that would be hot cascade height, it would be available in the same directory. You just need to change it on uh, cascade underscore height. So now let's see if it gets my eyes. As you can see, just detecting my eyes would be trouble. So let me go over to the cascade, uh, the face detector detect multi scale function. So here you have the scaling factor. And here you have the minimum neighbors, so you can play around with these values and uh, get accurate value without any false positive. So, so far I have found uh, 10 to be more accurate. Also, this four size new, this one is the minimum uh, size of the pixel. See here, so min size, min size is minimum possible object size. So, we are specifying it as 30 and maximum size as 0 here, so that the maximum size is unbound. So the 0, 0, is not the maximum size, it is uh, a special value that if you specify it as 0, 0, it will be unbound. So it will find uh, faces as big as uh, the image itself. So, so uh, I guess you get an idea. So for what are the parameters of this function detect multi scale? So this is the input image. This is the output of the, output of the function that is uh, the face is actual uh, bounding box of whatever the object we are detecting. So if we are uh, finding the eyes, it will be the rectangle will be the bounding box of eyes. If you are using the cascade for your face, uh, your face it is not face recognition, it is face detection. You cannot uh, it will detect anyone's face. Like it is not trained to uh, detect uh, specified person's face. It will uh, detect any human face. That's all. And this is the scale of the image, like it will be up, uh, scaled up. And if you give a uh, smaller value, it will scale down. So, and this is the minimum neighborhood. See here. Minimum neighbors, parameter specifying how many neighbors each candidate can do should have to retain it. So, if there is uh, a false positive, if you have a lot of false positive, you can. Uh, change this value to get a better value and also by changing this uh, size you can get a better uh, image better uh, face detection performance so that's all for today and i hope you have enjoyed it and please try uh, these and comment me if you have any doubt until then see you i'll see you in the next video bye